Hello, Flourishing Life people. How are you today? I am doing well. I just wanted to come on and I wanted to share a word from the Lord with you. I received this word from the Lord over the weekend um, past and I was waiting on the release um, and I have been confirmed to release this word. And so I am releasing this word to you. Um, I just want to say that um, as a flourishing life people, that you are planted in the garden of the Lord. That is so important for you to know and that we are trees planted by the rivers of living water. Our leaves don't fade. No matter what we go through, no matter what difficulties we share, no matter how things look or appear, please know that the Lord is with you and that God is for you. And this word is for his people. So I'm going to read to you the rhema word of the Lord. And then after I read the rhema word of the Lord, I will give you the scripture reference that he sent me in his word to uh, read to you. So here is the word of the Lord. And he says, the word he says, the one who sees all. I, the Lord, see all. Here this day, I, the Lord, see all. What others think I have not seen, I have seen. What the darkness thinks it has hidden, I was there and have seen. What was spoken behind closed doors, I have heard it, I was there. What was committed against my people in secret, I have seen and have counted it in the scales. The unfair balances will now begin to turn in my people's favor. Those of you who have been dealt with unfairly know I have seen it and have heard you. I have heard you. I have heard your cries. So now says the Lord, look to me, for I am coming with a vengeance. I am against those who are against me. I will repay according to my just righteousness. Have I not called, but they would not come? Have I not extended and they refused me? Have I not given and they would not receive? So now I am coming in the wind. I am coming to lift the standard in the earth for my people. Listen, my people, I have heard you. I have heard your cries. I am coming to free you, says the Lord. And the scripture, scripture reference is, Isaiah 59, and I'm going to skip around in this chapter, but you can go to Isaiah 59 and read the whole chapter. I think it is very important to read the whole chapter, but there are certain parts of Isaiah 59 that he wanted me to read specifically, and this is coming out of the Amplified Version, and it reads, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor his ear so impaired that it cannot hear. Verse 14 says, justice is pushed back and righteous behavior stands far away. For truth has fallen in the city square and integrity cannot enter. Yes, truth is missing. And he who turns away from evil makes himself a prey. Now the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no justice. He saw that there was no man and was amazed that there was no one to intercede on behalf of truth and right. Therefore, his own arm brought salvation to him, and his own righteousness sustained him. For he, the Lord, put on righteousness like a coat of armor, and salvation like a helmet on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing, and covered himself with zeal and great love for his people as a cloak, and their deeds as their deeds deserve, so he will repay, with wrath to his adversaries, retribution to his enemies, to the islands and coastlands he will repay. So they will fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. For he will come in like a narrow rushing stream, which the breath of the Lord drives, overwhelming the enemy. A redeemer will come to Zion, and those in Jacob who turn from their transgression declares the Lord. Amen. So that was the word of the Lord that he gave me to give to you. And then this morning, as I was up early uh, meditating in, in the Lord's presence, he also told me to speak to those of you who have decisions that you have to make. There are some of you who are quandering about decisions. 
And there are some things that you probably need to separate yourself from, and you're having a hard time separating yourself from those things. And so you're kind of wondering, how do I do this? Especially when there are situations or relationships that you are in, and you're not sure how to release yourself from those things, or you're not sure how to go forward in some decisions that you have to make. You're not sure on the next steps to take and some of the decisions you have to make. And it's someone in particular that has to make a very big decision and you are afraid to make that decision. And you have been asking God what to do, but because of your fear, you can't hear the Lord with clarity. And so the Lord wants me to give you um, a scripture to meditate on as you seek him. But when you're going to God to seek him, do it in faith and not fear because he can't answer you and you can't get the full answer, the wisdom from the Lord, if you are walking around in fear because you can't hear clearly. So James 1 um, verse 5 is the scripture that the Lord uh, gave to me today to give to those of you who are seeking his will. Um, and as we are doing this series and a wise woman builds, she doesn't burn her her house down. Um, every wise person seeks the Lord for his wisdom. That's wisdom in itself to seek the Lord for his wisdom. So James 1 and 5 says, if any of you lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he or she is to ask of our benevolent God who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. But he or she must ask for wisdom in faith without doubting God's willingness to help. For the one who doubts is like a billowing surge of the sea that is blown about and tossed by the wind. For such a person ought not to think or expect that he or she will receive anything at all from the Lord, being a double-minded man or woman, unstable and restless in all his or her ways and everything he or she thinks, feels, or decides. So that is James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. So the Lord doesn't want you to be unsure about the decision that you have to make. He wants you to be sure, but be guided by his wisdom in faith. So look to the Lord for your clarity. Sometimes we try to look to other people. And yes, God uses people to give wisdom, understanding and guidance, especially if you feel like that person has experienced what you've experienced. But in this hour, we have to understand the time and the seasons that we are in. In this hour, we are hearing new things from the Lord. So some pathways people have not taken before because they're new. And so if you're on a pathway and you're not sure which way to take, go to the Lord. It's said completely in his word that he's going to give it to you without any holding back. He's going to give it to you without blame. He's going to give it to you because he generously gives all things to us who believe him. But you got to believe. You got to have faith. You can't be double-minded to have faith one minute after you receive the word from the Lord and then no faith the next minute because you're not sure if you heard the Lord, you heard him. And if you have not are not sure how to hear God, ask him to give you the answer according to his word. Ask him to send his word to you that you may receive his word, that you may walk in that wisdom of his word. And God will do that. He wants to do that for you. You are his people. You're the sheep of his pasture. He wants to lead and guide you. You know, he is your shepherd. You shall not want, right? So you shall not even want for an answer. So ask him to deliver clear, specific answers to you according to his word, and he will do it. Why? Because he sent me to tell you that he wants to give you the answer, the clarity, the specifics of your decision to help you to stay on the path that he has you on. So be encouraged, okay? You are in the garden of the Lord. You are his planting. So know that you are his and he loves you with an everlasting love and he is going to guide you if you have faith and believe. And listen, all of us have a measure of faith, right? We've all been given the measure of faith. We've, give, been, we've been given God's faith. So just say, Lord, 
Help me if I'm not believing you. Help me with my unbelief. Give me the God kind of faith so I could believe you and hear your word and walk in it. Amen. So I love you guys. You are his people. You are the flourishing life people. Okay. Continue in flourishing. Continue in loving the Lord. Continue steadfast. Hold on. Don't give up because the Lord is coming. He said so. He is coming and he is coming with retribution and judgment in his hand. Let the Lord fight your battle because he is clothed for battle and it is always going to come through in victory. You have the victory. Be still and just know that God is your God and he has everything you need. Have a blessed day and may the peace of the Lord be upon you. May his rest rule in your heart and in your mind and may the joy of the Lord be your strength. Until the next time, take care.